Disclaimer. Oi there! Good evening to your brev, brevlinas and brevsis. My name is British Clicky Thicky, and today we are going to do something beautiful! Uh, we're gonna look at, uh, yeah, so much for that accent. <laughs> We're gonna look into amazing posts. I found a meme page recently that is absolutely scrumptious. It's a perfect combination between like wholesome memes, depressing memes, and relatable memes. And I think that you will like it just as much as I enjoy having you here. Enjoy. Mwah. That was kind of smooth. Oh, and also remember, don't critique me for my accents. My accents are amazing. Brev. All right, let's let's get into this absolute disaster. <laughs> And after this video, you can see all the British people are subscribing. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Me? I'm trying to remember who I am and what I like. Uh, loading? <laughs> Joke's on you. There is nothing there. Thought and um, no. <clears throat> oh god, I, I literally can't thunk. God, my head is literally- I was gonna make a joke where it's like, Head empty, no thoughts, but I couldn't even say that right. GG, click. Great reaction. I can kind of feel this meme though, but in a different way. Whenever I meet a new person, depending on their vibe, I'm always ping-ponging between like, Should I actually tell them? I work with YouTube, or should I give them a really boring explanation, which I know there'll be no follow-up questions to? Oh yeah, you know, I work with a lot of paperwork in a small media company. <laughs> and it's like, oh, that's boring, I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. I'm like, yes. Now I get to sit in the corner and pet the cat. 17 year olds when I am nine! 17 year olds when I am 17! 17 year olds when I'm 25. It really is like that. I remember how teenagers used to look like old adults when I was a child. And nowadays like, oh my god, you're all children. And I am unescapably old. I think it's just fascinating how your perspective changes so much. It's kind of fascinating. Because to me as well, friends I have known for like 20 years, they haven't aged, you know, because we see each other so often that you don't realize it. Until you see old pictures and you're like, Oh no! Google, uh, why does my back hurt? I sit like this, it's very ergonomic for a shrimp. McDonald's. Bro, I ordered a Happy Meal, but I am still sad! Why the freak? False marketing! This is supposed to fix my depression! I can just see in front of me the onion or something, releasing a fake article from McDonald's, being like, McDonald's claims their Happy Meal cures depression. <laughs> Wouldn't that be- wouldn't that be a bit of a doozy, wouldn't it? You just died. The tenth picture in your gallery is what killed you. Alright, let's look into the reply, shall we? When he's absolutely going to hurt you, but you know you're gonna do it anyway- <laughs> What is this cactus supposed to be? Jesus Christ! I think I just clenched every orifice in my body. Oh my god! The Legend of Zelda Tears of Kingdom 2023. Oh, that is a beautiful indestructible hammer. Is this the kind of thing where the unstoppable object meets a immovable force? <laughs> it's all just Nokia phones. This is Bob. You will only see him once and never again. This is your last chance to say hi to Bob. Oh, is that because Bob is gonna murder me? Bob, please. Going for a drive to clear my head? Oh my god, you're driving on the wrong side of the road. Maybe the person driving is British and they accidentally drive on the left side. Oh no! I actually uh, had a video I was reacting to about some people being silly in traffic and I made jokes about like American drivers and stuff and then someone in the comment pointed out like, click, they're driving on the left side of the road in the video. I didn't even notice. <laughs> God, I'm a horrible commentator. Hi there, how are things? Please, don't make me think about my life. Ah, oh, that's a nice little reply. I had a nice weekend too. Oh, thank God, it was just a bad dream. Oh, that's what it's supposed to be. The beach line of Canada. Everyone knows Canada has the best southern beaches, baby. Oh, yes. Are you going to sleep? Yes, I am. Now shut up. In what language deaf people think in? What? No sleep for me? That's a fair point though. You know when people say that they have a voice inside their head like their inner monologue? I've had a lot of people tell me that. They hear my voice as their inner monologue when they read memes even by themselves. Oh, <laughs> I am the best influence on humanity. But anyway, how would you do that? If you never heard a voice in your life, what inner monologue would you have? <gasps> Maybe it's like some super cool like alien sounding inner monologue. Let me know in the comments if you have insight on this. I am genuinely intrigued. Sorry, I am not scanning a QR code for your menu. I am with the boomers on this. It depends. It depends. There are a couple of lunch places I really like that have a QR menu because instead of going sitting down, then awkwardly wait for a waiter to bring you the menu in 15 minutes, you can just like, oh, QR code and you can take your time, bloop, and then you're done. You know, minimal interaction, beautiful, because antisocial, that kind of stuff. It's very comfortable. I'm like very 50-50 on it. It depends on the place. Mouse, hamster. 
Rename the wireless mouse to hamster. 4,307 people have signed. It's a good thing democracy is solving the real issues of the world. Be awkward by being quiet. Be awkward by talking. Oof, this is just my whole channel, isn't it? Does anyone else feel this, especially after COVID? If you like stay inside or work too much for like a couple of days, it's like your social stuff just becomes rusty. And then when you meet people for the first time after a couple of days, you're like, uh, uh. Huh? It, it's oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's like the social skills lose their oiliness. Frick zodiac signs. Which rage quitter are you? The keyboard smasher. The emotional breakdown. The face grabber. The screamer. <laughs> I do remember hitting a keyboard once when I was very young. I was like 12, playing a competitive game, and I was very upset. But apart from that, I don't really play a lot of stuff that gives me these kind of reactions anymore, partially because of that. Because I realized when I play too much competitive games, I start getting more annoyed after a while. When I get good at the game, I start like getting more and more annoyed about the randomness in the game. So right no nowadays, I typically only play like more chill games or like co-op games with friends and stuff. Because because uh, I don't know, it, it's just uh, it, it's not the vibe isn't for me. Where does it hurt? Headache? Stomach ache? Realizing you're wrong in the middle of an argument. Oh, 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 that's, oh my god, that's painful. But if you can realize that and own up to that fact, people will usually respect you more. Nobody knows everything from the start. But if you're a person that can admit fault and learn from it and actually own up to it, that is one of the most respectable things that is possible. Knowing everything would be more respectable, I guess, but it's not actually feasible. So in reality, this is the most respectable course of action. Keep that in mind. Most people that are like are people that can own up to mistakes. That's something I have learned in life, and it's a very valuable lesson. Uh, one, two, three, zero! <laughs> what? Why is it so complicated? I don't get it. Using my phone because I can't sleep? I can't sleep because I'm using my phone! It is a bad circle. I must say, though, the best nights where I fall asleep and sleep the best is when I spend like 30 minutes reading before bed. Not on your phone, an actual book. Ugh. Oh god. Yes, books still exist. Then of course I don't do it as much as I should because I'm a rampant hypocrite, but like... <laughs> that's like, oh, it's so nice, you sleep so well, you read something, you learn something, and then I only do it like one night out of ten anyway, because because I'm an idiot. Peppa Pig, two one meters. Charizard, 1.7 meters. Peppa Pig. Oh, Charizard. Can I have Peppa Pig as a Pokemon? If you're freaking 2.1 meters tall, chonky pig buff boy, but it's like Snorlax. It's so beautiful. Oh, 1999. Uh, 2000. It'd really do be like that. Though. Are you born before or after 2000? I am born a long time before 2000. <laughs> <laughs> Live at home forever. Pay thousands in rent and never buy a home. Turning 18. Woo! The housing market. Yay! It really do be like that, though. When the rent for a one-bedroom apartment is more than the average mortgage our parents have, it's like... Oh, the whole game is rigged. This sucks. This is a meme checkpoint. Show me the most recent meme in your phone. Why can't we do this instead of random checks at the airport? I always get stuck in random checks at the airport. I would love it if they instead were just like, Hey there, bruh, what's the latest meme you saved on your phone? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> let me take you down meme lane. I'm a bit of a professional, and they just let me go because they're sick of me already. But anyway, let's check out the memes. It's Schlut. I post this for free leaks. Dog owners, is that the husky? No! Cat owners, what breed of cat is that? It's orange. <laughs> A little schlutty wutty. It's 1999. Spotify and iTunes don't exist yet. You've just spent $10 on an album. Three tracks in, you realize it freaking sucks. I remember that. It was $10 if you were lucky. It was usually more like $15. It was so pricey. And it was always just like one hit song per album. It was the worst thing ever. It was one good song, maybe two. That was it. Oh, gee, I just paid like freaking 150 Swedish shekels for, for one song. Uh, and they wonder why pirating was popular. Jesus. Vegans when they haven't been able to tell someone they're vegan for more than 15 minutes? <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong. Having dietary decisions for ethical reasons, environmental reasons, or for your own reasons is good. But don't make it your own personality. Move on. You saw me and didn't even say hi. Me? Hmm. I mean, your reflected photons technically reached my retinas, but like... That doesn't mean I actually processed your presence. Three stages of life. One, birth, two... What the f*** is this?! Three, death. Ah, oh, the beautiful cycle continues. 
Mm. And somewhere in the middle, there's also memes, which is good. <laughs> no thanks. I am not interested in eternal life. I have seen enough. <laughs> But, sir, you will go to heaven. Oh, dear, if any of these people are there, I, I, no, I don't want it. Humans in one minute of plank exercise. Ugh, help! Ducks hunt dog all life, lemma weak. Oh, ducks hunt. Oh. Ah! <laughs> what, what happened? Ah! Spoodering cough. Ah! It's so good. I love screaming matches over text. In this case, it's... Very applicable, though. Imagine that you've already drank half the cup, and then you realize it's there. It's like that old saying where it's like, what's what's worse than finding a worm in your apple? Half a worm. <laughs> I thought it was a normal picture at first. Look, it's Sharon E. Warony, and... Wait, everything in the background is Ed Sharon. Oh, no, that's... This is not good. Is this, is this where he comes from? That, that's not a good thing. I don't think you had to post this. It's a little bit of over Sharon. Still got it. You know it's a click video when you have at least one really bad pun. My god, I love my channel. People with food allergies having an allergic reaction. <laughs> Lactose intolerant people not caring about the consequences. <laughs> I will fart myself to sleep at night. <laughs> and I will be proud of it. Are you okay? Are you okay? Uruk? UK? UK? That's actually how you say it though, isn't it? Oh my god, I'm learning so much British today. 20% off, got pain? <laughs> you deserve it! I'm, I'm kind of want to give these two cards. Um, I did that to my dad when he turned 60. Not this, not that you deserve the pain, that's a bit dark. But, but I, I did two th cards that both said 30. And I said, congrats, now you're turning 30 for the 30th time. <laughs> it was very funny, I was very proud of myself. We take for open R out. What? Wait, how is this supposed to be? Take out must be one thing, right? So this is like, we are... Open for takeout. Is that... Have you, like, mixed up the... How is this supposed to work? It doesn't have a single piece of logic. It's just jumping around in zigzags. <sighs> I am losing my ability to read. College of architecture and planning. This reminds me so much of an old job I had, where everything was, like, being automated for the clients and that kind of thing. But then internally, it would be, like, more and more manual stuff that's, like, very Stone Age. And then someone was like, uh... But, but we, we want to work with automation. Shouldn't we try to do that internally too? Like, you know, live by our own standards? And they're like, <laughs> no. The same thing goes here. It's like, oh, we teach planning and architecture except for ourselves. <laughs> she, her, they, them. He, he. The superior pronouns. Hello. Hi. Hmm. The best greeting. Get actual help and therapy. Ah, it is what it is. Men. Oh my god, I feel this, this... Why is this such a call-out, man? <laughs> I'm just here reading memes casually. You don't have to do me this dirty, come on. If this is a pair of scissors, then what the frick is this? Ah, uh, it's a double pair. It's a double pair of scissors. It's like, you know, with cards. What's it called when you have cards? It's a pair, two pairs, two... Double pair. <laughs> it's so bad. WikiHow! How to negotiate a higher salary. Whoa! <laughs> That is very good. That is very good indeed. Who wants to sleep? Everyone. Who wants to go to sleep? No one. Because everyone is playing on their phone like a little poo-poo. Remember my advice. Read for 30 minutes before bed is absolutely beautiful. And also, a little bit of physical activity. Like in the afternoon or something like that also helps a ton. Doesn't have to be anything extreme, but like a walk or something nice. Something that gets the blood flowing a little bit. And then reading half an hour before bed, those two things combined is amazing for sleeping well. I wish I listened more to my own advice. So here is a controller which has this texture and dog nose. All says texture. Save diagnosis today. They harvest diagnosis to make controllers. It's disgusting. It's so cute though. It's like a little booper. I have so mixed feelings about this. It would be like if they used like toe beans for various products. It would be like, oh my god, it's cruel, but also it's like toe beans. My confidence level in chat call v video call uh, real meat. Yeah, I've seen the memes about this. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful so far. Yeah, no, it's relatable. Yeah, it's definitely relatable. 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22, and thinking back, oh, it was definitely like this, but in reality, you've just been miserable the whole time. But at least it's like, you know, your memories are a bit more rose-tinted. Is that a good thing? 
I do feel like that's a thing, though, with, like, nostalgia. Take, for example, when I think back on my university years, say. The thing, as I remember, is like, oh, the nice social life, or, you know, some of the fun parties, or the cool memories. I don't think about, like, the countless droning lectures, for example, when I was barely staying awake, or, like, the really stressful exam periods, or when we literally sat up to 4 a.m. one evening, trying to get a computer program in engineering to work, and then just ended up drinking Jaeger bombs instead. That was pretty fun, though. <laughs> but... Yeah, I can kind of relate to it, but I think we think back on a lot of stuff in the past with nostalgia, it is a bit ro romanticized, which I partially think is a good thing, because if you remember the good stuff and your memory kind of, you know, sweeps away some of the bad stuff, it means that your impression of your own life will be happier. So I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. I mean, be honest with yourself what life is like, because then you can also take steps to live a better life. But, uh, you know, focusing on the good memories is also definitely uh, a good choice. Draw me like one of your French girls! Everyone knows this is how French girls look. Absolutely gorgeous. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I would have loved it if this was actually the original scene in the movie. Imagine just trying to flirt with someone by drawing them. Yeah, yeah, I'm an artist. Yeah, yeah, then he turned around and he's just a stick figure. <laughs> and they're like, oh, all right. Be honest, what number are you? One, two, three, or four? I would say I'm like a weird mix between like one and four. My feet are a little bit unholy. When I posted a picture standing behind a Christmas tree on my Twitter or something like that, people thought I was wearing Crocs. It's just- it's just my feet with socks, man. But what the hell? 2024, 2024, 2024, 2024, 2024. No! British accent, America accent. Me, a European who learned English from a YouTube. Yeah, that's, that's really how it feels like. That's how it feels like. And oftentimes one thing I've realized is that all the Swedish people who've been abroad always have like a weird mix of accents depending on where they have been. So for example, Swedes that have been in the UK, they have like some in between, between the Swedish accent and the British accent, and they talk like this, but then it switches and then it goes back and forth. And the American ones also have like some unholy in between. It's absolutely astounding. Once you have read the dictionary, every other book you read is just a remix. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's kind of cute, though. That's kind of cute. This reminds me of the kind of logic where, since pi is infinite, any data you can imagine is stored in those numbers at some point. That's kind of a cool thought, right? Yeah, it's kind of like infinity and all that kind of stuff. It's very, it's very cool. Americans, no, you can't drink until you're 20. I'm sorry, Dad. Germans, happy happy they gonna have beer at six? <laughs> <laughs> the ripe age for drinking. It is very different, though. In Sweden, we go out when we're 18. In Germany, I believe it's 16. But that's like go out to the pub, not actually buy strong liquor for yourself. In Sweden, you can do that when you're 20, but you can hit the pub when you're 18. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Drinking when you're 20 or 21 or whatever it is in the U.S., that's, uh, that's quite steep, fam. It's quite steep. Fox 13. Michigan woman charged with caring for wildlife without permit. Animals killed by state officials. Yep, yeah, yeah, that seems, seems like the right priority. Oh, lady, you're taking care of these animals. You don't have the right to do that. You don't have the right to do good deeds. Better shoot them. Ah, another issue fixed. Isn't that just beautiful? Do crabs think fish are flying? Uh, how high are you? I'm 5'9". <laughs> The biggest scam in history. Greenland. Iceland. I know, right? This is something we used to joke about as kids all the time. It's so weird. Why did you name them in reverse? Who came up with this garbage? Big burgers should be wide and not taller. Oh my god, yes, please. I mean, at some point you can't really take a bite anymore. You're like awkwardly clawing at a corner and half of it leaks out anyway. It's not good. Just make them wider. And also one thing I hate is when you order a big burger, but the, but the buns are still the same size. So what happens is you just have a bun this size and the burger is just like way outside of it, like, like an awkward little flying saucer. It, no, no. I, I wonder if he's thinking of me. If I don't lift this, I'm gay and my whole family dies. <laughs> It reminds me of those games you used to play as a kid, when it's like, Oh, I can only walk on the in-between lines in the floorboarding, otherwise the world will explode. <laughs> ah, it's so beautiful. How to socialize with people. Talk. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. This world's a scam. Frick, zodiac signs. How do you put your phone in your pocket? Like this? Like this? This or this? I do number one, and I make sure that there's nothing else in the pocket that is hard. Like, don't put your phone in the same pocket as your keys, 
because it will scrape the crap out of it. A lesson from the pro. Who puts it in like number three? What freaking sociopath is this meme for? Disgusting. Today is gonna be a good day! This tweet has been deleted. Aw, come on. I mean, you did log into Twitter the first time during the day. That's that's a very good recipe for ruining the day, to be honest. Do you like genetics? Indeed you do. Well, let, let us investigate genetics using gummy bears. Here are the parents, and they get these children, and this child over here gets together with someone else. Luckily, the kids didn't get together. That would have been awkward. And then this one has three babies! Holy crap! And they all turn into this, and this one goes here, and oh my god, they all have little pieces. Isn't that nice? So, let that be a lesson learned. If... You have interracial dating, and you have babies. Eventually, the babies of the babies will all have one limb in a, in a different skin color. <laughs> Tune in to click for more genetics. <laughs> god, this video is a train wreck. Chess be like, ah! oh my god, it's chaos. It's absolute chaos. Can you imagine that, though? Just a freaking, well, I call them towers, because that's that's the direct translation in Swedish, and I will die on that hill. But a rook, or whatever the frick, that is, can you imagine that it's coming charging over a hill? Because it can go an infinite length, you know? So it's like, oh my god, it's such a calm, vroom, and you get hit by that stone wall right in the face. Chess is freaking terrifying and traumatizing. How I imagined that would look like in my 30s. Hell yeah. How I look in my 20s. <coughs> At least I haven't lost my hair yet. I hope I don't. My forehead is big enough as it is. Mad a gas car. Glad a gas car. Sad a gas car. Not a gas car. Mad a gas car. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a freaking horrible meme. It's so bad that it's funny. Jesus Christ. Life of a philosopher in a nutshell. One birth, two. Uh, why though? Three death. It's very close to the other one, where it's like, what the frick is this? But it's a little bit more collected. Uh, I appreciate that. It's one step in the right direction. How my brain records my life. Good memories. 144p. Cringe memories. 4320p. 8k. <laughs> I think one theory I have, let me know if you agree with this, it feels like remembering more vast periods of your life. Take for example if you had a few good years of your childhood, or like a few fun years uh, in university, or like a couple of fun years you're in during your teens, does that even exist? But anyway, something like that, and you often remember that period as better than it actually was because it's nostalgic. But when you think at individual memories, like individual happenings and moments, you remember them very sharply if they're cringe, right? So it feels like larger swaths of memories are often positively fied, but individual memories that are cringe are crispy-fied. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Man, I can write a theory about this. It probably exists. Hmm, can you explain this gap in your resume? Yes, that is when I did not have a job. <laughs> I hate that that's such a big thing, honestly. Like, gap in your resume, oh gee, someone didn't work for a couple of months? You mean they were just enjoying life and like, you know, traveling or experiencing any kind of experience in the world that isn't an office job? Wow, what a crime. I, uh, I dislike that with a passion. Uh, why do you let him eat sand? <laughs> I don't like him. Bruh. Bruh. You could have at least given some bullsh- like, Facebook group mom explanation, like, Oh my god, it's good for digestion. Did you know dinosaurs used to swallow rocks to help, like, crunch up the, the vegetables in their tummy? You know, something like that, but no, you're just like, No, I don't like him. I'm gonna let him eat sand. <laughs> Getting paid to lift heavy objects at work. Oh, frick the sh- I need a pay raise. The frick is this? Ah, my back is killing. Paying to lift heavy objects at the gym. Woo! Lightweight baby. It is nothing. I am just warming up. Need more weight, bro. Yeah, it, it's it's weird, right? It is a little bit weird. I think it has a bit of an interesting point, though. It's that when you genuinely want to do something and you actually go do it, it's more fun than if you're not in the mood for something, but you're forced to do it anyway because it's your responsibility. This is actually something that you should consider if you're, for example, thinking about turning a hobby into a job, much like I did with YouTube. And a lot of people ask me what that's like. And the truth is that the coin has two sides. Of course, I enjoy what I do, but you also have to worry about more things. And there are also days where you're having a bad day and you just don't feel like it, but you still have to because now it's your job. Now you depend on this for your livelihood. So it is very different. I tried a similar thing a few years ago with music, and I took a whole summer off in university. I worked ahead of time so I could afford to like be free for two months, and I just 
tried it. What it would be like if I just focused on producing music, learning things, playing, practicing for two months, and I realized that after just a few weeks I was basically burnt out on it. Uh, amazing as a hobby, but I would not want to do it as a full-time job. So that was like a nice little thing I did for myself that made me realize that, huh, this isn't actually what I want to do full time. I'm perfectly fine with only having this as a hobby. And I think that's a good realization. Not everything that fits as a hobby fits as a job. It kind of sucks the fun out of it in many, many ways. So something worth considering, I suppose. I am leaving you. You're addicted to gambling. <laughs> I bet I can win you back. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. I don't care what color your skin is, what size you are, or what your sexual preference is. I hate everyone. F*** you. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, inclusivity by hatred. Isn't that just absolutely astounding? Naming folders. Girls. Memories. Sweet pictures. Boys. It's so true. The worst moment is when you're when you've been trying to name a folder, just a button mash, like and you realize that oh wait, I, that name is already taken. It's happened to me at least two times I can remember where that has happened. Am I really that consistent with my button mashing? That blows my mind more than anything else. I just think it's funny when dogs I go like huh huh. Oh, it's so cute. I want to, I want to pet the puppy. Idiot. The government just said they had to fake the moon landing. CGI in 1996 is like a freaking clay gorilla. Can you imagine what CGI would have been like in, you know, the 60s? <laughs> it's just like cardboard cutouts on sticks, basically. Oh. I mean, I guess they could have faked some of it, like models and stuff, if you consider that the resolution on the cameras was also much worse. But, but I don't know, man. Horse puzzle. This puzzle is a frick. Look at that. Perfect horse. Nailed it. <laughs> Not! <laughs> <sighs> it really do be like that. Can you imagine Simba in one of those? He weighs like 13 kilograms, which is a lot for a cat. It's about 30 pounds. He's a chonker. He has actually broken a couple of these ones. Uh, <laughs> he's... He's not, he's not a very um, 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 small and easily handleable creature. Me, building up the courage to unsubscribe from a YouTuber who I've watched grow and progressively become more annoying. <laughs> I feel that though, and I think it's also difficult as a creator to like, be consistent. If you just look at videos I made two years ago, for example, they're vastly different than what I do now. And some of it is just natural, like you want to add more to the content. For example, in the beginning, I was mainly focused on just being like a voice actor that happened to read out memes and dialogues and texts. But then it turned more and more into like, huh, it's probably good to show more personality in your face on camera if you want it to last, because otherwise it becomes very replaceable and not recognizable and so on and so forth. And it's also more fun because you can add more of yourself into it, which, which I think is just a good vibe. But, I don't know, it also changes, and sometimes you feel yourself going down in directions that, I don't know, maybe it's the market going into the direction, or maybe it's just that you get tired of something, want to try something. It's tricky as a creator to find the balance between consistency and trying new things. Um, and it's also like the audience grows up, the algorithm changes, there's shorts content now. God, I sound like, sound like a boomer when I'm talking about this, I've just been doing this for three years, but <laughs> it's, a, it's a tricky place, and it's tricky to find the balance. How to talk to tall people. Wrong. Wrong. Correct. Don't, don't. I'm just not gonna, gonna go outside again, man. <gasps> a bird. No, a bad cat. Later. I brought chicken. <laughs> yeah, we are, we are hypocritical, horrible creatures, aren't we? Maybe it's a tofurkey, though. That might be it. It might be a tofurkey. Thanks for the dinner at Taco Bell. <laughs> You're welcome, Timothy. What did you get? Oh, a diarrhea. Timothy, I swear to God. <sighs> How tall are you? I eat short people. Uh, I'm like 7'2", fam. Me stands up really fast. My body... <laughs> oh my god, this used to be so bad back when I was a teenager. I've always had like low blood pressure, but it was so bad when I was growing fast as a teenager. I could literally stand up fast in the morning. It's like, oh my god, I have to lay back down. Oh. Nowadays, it's usually like, you know, your vision can go out for a second or so, and it's like, oh, everything is black, and then it comes back. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's relatable. Me goes to bed. My nostrils. <laughs> oh, I hate that. And then it feels like you're freaking struggling for breath. You wake up, and it feels like doing this. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Frick! Horoscopes. How do you finish your wings? One, two, three, four, five, or six? 
I mean, if you don't want to be wasteful, six is pretty solid, but uh, I don't know, I would say I'm like a three or four, somewhere, somewhere around there. Sexual orientation. Heterosexual, gay slash lesbian, bisexual, other, straight. The frick straight isn't an option anymore. Ah, oh, this country has really go downhill. This is why, I mean, I'm not really in America, but this is why America is failing. Ah, oh, a lack of the straightness. Everyone is just heterosexual at this. Ah, oh, it's so gay to be heterosexual. Disgusting. Uh, welcome to class, everyone. Uh, for the first slide, we're gonna go through this little lovely subject. <coughs> we are f***ed. Oh, isn't that just relatable? Whoa! This VR is so realistic! You are never anyone's first choice. Oh! <laughs> it's so realistic. You should order yourself a, a McDonald's Happy Meal. What unrealistic thing in movies bug the hell out of you? They remove headrests from cars so you can see the actors better. Wait, is that... Oh my god! I have never thought about that. It's true. Oh my god. I just realized the Krusty Krab was a crab trap. That's kind of beautiful though. Like you turn something negative that is supposed to be against you into something purely profitable. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh yes indeed. Me, an introvert, random extrovert that liked me for no reason. Come over here, little boy. We're gonna go socialize. <laughs> Driving into the sunset. <gasps> Expectation. Oh, yay, Daddy Pascal. Reality. Oh, I can't see anything. Ah, oh, probably gonna drive into a wall. The cube p p huh huh v how are you wait how are you supposed to read this the pa the the cube pub I think that's how you're supposed to read it like the the is the top line cube is the middle line and pub that ends with b is the bottom so the cube pub I mean it looks a bit cute but it's hard to read man <laughs> none for me thanks I take complete responsibility for my poopy behavior. <gasps> You ignored the horoscope sign? Oh, that's such a Scorpio thing to do. Disgusting. I still remember from that, what was it, anti-work video or something, where they were firing people or not hiring people based on their horoscopes. Like, you don't have to apply if you're a Scorpio or a Libra. We only work with... With real team merging management here. God. Thoughts. Milk on flakes or flakes on milk? First pick is step one. Second pick is if you're still hungry. End of discussion. I agree. I agree. Anyone else who disagrees with this is... Uh, oh, makes me very upset. I'm upset about the right things in the world. My mom is my angle. Oh, thanks! Ooh. Ooh. How would you fix this, though? Like, when you get a tattoo and you realize it's misspelled, do you just own it? Or, or what do you do? I am in a love triangle. I love a girl. She loves nobody, and nobody loves me. Ah, oh, isn't that just beautiful and relatable? <sighs> life. Red pill. Restart your life at six years of age with all the knowledge you have now. Blue pill. Ten million in cash. Ooh. That is interesting. I think it very much depends on where you started in life, what kind of pros and cons you had growing up. But also, like, one thing I realized about it is that you're basically not... It's not only about, like, the biz aspect, you know, to make it or, like, get a good job or, you know, get the opportunity or something like that. It's also just... Wouldn't it be nice to just get to relive so much of your life? Like, imagine you're 10 years old again, but you're actually self-aware enough to really appreciate it and be like, wow, school ends at, like, 1 in the afternoon, and I get to play video games and play with friends and that kind of stuff. Maybe if it's your exact brain... It's not as fun as it used to be, like the magic would be kind of taken out of it, I suppose. But still, like, being able to relive that, but really appreciate it? I don't know. That sounds kind of nice. We might listen to the same music, but I listen to it better than you. <laughs> I listened to it before it was cool, and that makes me cooler. <laughs> Finding artists on Spotify is my personality trait. Rain, be like... Rain is just a bottom mash. Oh my god. Are you drunk? What? <laughs> Just a little buzz. <laughs> Finger guns. People who buy paintings. People who paint. That's that's kind of true. It's beautiful how, how the world connects people, isn't it? Thank you for calling. Please hold for a minute. <laughs> this music freaking sucks. <laughs> Aww. That would be such a good thing to imagine if you're an aspiring musician and you just make sure that you jump on some kind of, I don't know, phone service, uh, freaking service desk kind of job, and you do this to sell your music, but they did, then you just poop all over it, so sad. Is this real life? 
Or is this just fantasy? Tracking to see if those weird sounds are part of the music or not. Oh my god, another thing that always bugs me is when like a YouTube video has Discord noises in the background. When someone has forgotten to turn off their desktop like sound capture and you're watching a gameplay video or something. And you're like, what's going on? Is that my Discord? And then you have to like play the video back to figure out if it's your Discord or the other person's Discord. It's like, ah. Oh. Nah. What flat earthers see on a clear day? Woo! Everything! That would be kind of nice though, wouldn't it? Mm, kind of nice. I like that. It would be a good view. The world is a kit playing with Australia. <laughs> Take that, Australia. Everyone knows the world is flat. Australia isn't real. Isn't that part of the flat earth conspiracy? That everyone from Australia is a paid actor? I have some Australian friends who reacted to that by saying like, Oh, that'd be so nice. I would just be paid to exist and just tell people online I'm Australian. That'd be such a cushy job. R slash city skylines. Huh, what am I supposed to do with this? Please help, it's almost overflowing. Okay, let's see, we have a little bit of city and that's the drainage system to... No, did you make a massive dam where all the drainage... Is that a dam full of poop? Is this like 10 years worth of poop from the entire city and the dam is about to burst? Oh my God. You know, as an engineer, the only choice here is to build it taller. Tomorrow's problem. Well, ladies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed having you here, you wonderful, beautiful bean. And I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.